Welcome to the 10 Minutes Travel Channel, where we discuss various topics concerning travel, recreation, and suggestions for your upcoming expedition. In this video, we will be accompanying you on a tour of Buenos Aires, the capital city of Argentina, and elaborate on the reasons why it deserves to be one of your top picks for a vacation destination. Buenos Aires is a city in Argentina that embodies the country's essence. It is the largest city in South America and serves as Argentina's political, economic, and cultural capital, as well as a gateway to other parts of the country. With its compact and tree-lined center, the city has a Parisian feel, with charming corners that feature attractive buildings from the 19th century and high-rise apartments. Despite being a large city, Buenos Aires has managed to keep its old traditions, and all of its 47 barrios have unique personalities that visitors can explore and enjoy. Buenos Aires has many popular neighborhoods, including Palermo, La Recoleta, and Belgrano. These areas feature wide boulevards with luxurious mansions, high-end apartment buildings, and large parks. San Telmo and La Boca are also worth exploring for their unique artistic styles. The Plaza de Mayo is a traditional hub for entertainment and activity in the city center, while Avenida Santa Fe is known for its fashionable shopping. For more information on the top tourist attractions and activities in Buenos Aires, check out this comprehensive list. Number 9. Tour the President's Pink House, Casa Rosada, located in Plaza de Mayo, is the most well-known building in the area. It was constructed in the mid-1800s on the site of an old customs house and fort from the 16th century. The building, also known as the Government House, serves as the official residence of the President of Argentina. Casa Rosada was built in the Italianate style and is a prominent feature at the eastern end of the historic square. It is a popular spot for taking selfies. The building not only houses the president and state offices, but also the Casa Rosada Museum. The museum was established in the 1950s and has an impressive collection of exhibits and artifacts that date back to colonial times when Spain ruled much of the continent. The museum features impressive murals created by renowned Mexican artist David Alfaro Siqueiros in 1933, with the help of prominent artists from Argentina at that time. The museum is open from Wednesday to Sunday, and on Saturdays, visitors can take advantage of free tours in English starting at 12.30 p.m. Number 8. Visit the Recoleta Cemetery and Museums Recoleta, a trendy neighborhood, was named after a monastery that was constructed in this area in 1716, but is mainly famous for its remarkable cemetery. The Recoleta Cemetery has been a popular destination for both locals and tourists for a long time, who come to see the numerous grand mausoleums that serve as the final resting place for famous Argentinians. Among them is Eva Perón, who is now interred in the Duarte family tomb. While these extravagant crypts may seem excessive, they demonstrate the importance that Argentinians place on death, which is such a significant event that they commemorate both their family members' birthdays and death anniversaries. Make sure to check out Recoleta's other offerings, such as public gardens, cafes, and artisanal stores after your visit. Additionally, don't miss out on other attractions like the Museo de Arte Hispanoamericano Isaac Fernandez Blanco, which boasts a vast collection of colonial silver, paintings, costumes, and wood carvings, and the National Library, where the renowned author Jorge Luis Borges once held a directorial role during the 1950. Number 7. Palermo and Jardín Botanico Palermo is the go-to destination for the residents of Buenos Aires. It is home to many of the city's largest and most popular parks. The area was once a part of the estate of the dictator Juan Manuel de Rosas. Today it is famous for its many ethnic restaurants and avant-garde fashion establishments. The Jardin Botanico, the city's botanical gardens, is also located here. These gardens, spread over 20 acres, boast around 5,000 flower species from all over the world, including Argentina. The gardens feature several exquisite areas, such as the French and Italian gardens, a herb museum, and a horticultural school. The Buenos Aires Japanese Gardens, the largest of its kind in South America, is also located here. It is famous for its bonsai collection, traditional arts and crafts displays, and cultural center. Number 6. The National Museum of Decorative Art, situated in the Palacio Erasuris, a French classical-style building in the Recoleta district. 
and has been open since 1911. The museum is a must-visit for art enthusiasts and architecture lovers alike. The museum's collection includes Renaissance and Baroque furniture, porcelain, tapestries, and silver, as well as paintings by Spanish Mannerists and French Impressionists. The Oriental Art Museum, located in the same building, also showcases exceptional artwork from across Asia. Additionally, the National Museum of Fine Arts is worth visiting for its collection of works by famous European artists, including Rodin, Renoir, Monet, and Van Gogh, as well as a number of significant Argentinian artists. Number 5. Art Galleries Old and New Buenos Aires is widely recognized as one of the most significant art hubs in South America. The Latin American Art Museum of Buenos Aires, which is one of the newest and most impressive galleries, boasts a modern building that resembles several interlocking cubes. The museum houses exceptional works by contemporary artists from across Latin America and serves as a cultural hub that showcases the country's film and visual arts. Another noteworthy art museum in Buenos Aires is the Museum of Modern Art, which is housed in a former tobacco warehouse. The museum exhibits collections of local painters and sculptors and also features permanent exhibits of both local and international artists such as Salvador Dali and Pablo Picasso. It is important to check out a few notable galleries when in the city, such as the Museum of the Spanish Art of Enrique Loreta, which features an impressive collection acquired by the renowned writer. Additionally, the Fortabat Art Collection is a great option, as it is a high-quality fine art gallery that was established in 2008. Don't forget to make time to see Floralis Generica, the city's most interesting outdoor sculpture located in Plaza de las Naciones Unidas. This huge flower made of steel and aluminum even closes at night and emits a pleasant red glow. Number 4. A City of Theaters, the Colon Theater. Anyone who loves great theater or performance venues should not miss the opportunity to visit the many impressive halls in Buenos Aires. Among them is the renowned Colon Theater which opened in 1908 and is recognized worldwide as an exceptional location for opera, ballet, and classical music performances. Some of the most famous performers, including Callas, Toscanini, Stravinsky, Caruso, and Pavarotti, have graced its stage. Guided tours are available to explore the theater's inner workings, including set building and costume making, and to experience its famed acoustics. However, the ultimate experience is attending a performance in its luxurious auditorium. Other places of interest include Teatro Gran Rex, a beautiful Art Deco cinema established in 1937, and Teatro Cervantes, which houses the Buenos Aires National Theater Museum, exhibiting theater, film, and musical productions. Number 3. The Metropolitan Cathedral, Buenos Aires Metropolitan Cathedral is a religious building with a neoclassical facade that overlooks Plaza de Mayo. It dates back to the early 16th century when the Spanish established one of the country's first churches at the location. Although the exterior of the church is plain, it has a beautiful neo-Renaissance and neo-Baroque interior with several significant artworks, such as 18th century altarpieces and statues. The cathedral also houses a Walker organ dating from 1871 that contains 3,500 pipes and is viewed as one of the best of its kind. Additionally, the tomb of General José de San Martín, one of Argentina's most respected revolutionary heroes, is located here. The Block of Enlightenment is a significant religious site that is recommended to visit. It is considered the historic hub of education and refined culture in Buenos Aires and comprises the Colegio Nacional de Buenos Aires and San Ignacio Church. This church is the oldest one in the city that still stands today and is renowned for its tunnels and artwork. No details should be left out while describing the Block of Enlightenment. Number 2. Explore La Boca and the Caminito Street Museum. La Boca is undoubtedly the most vibrant neighborhood in Buenos Aires and is particularly popular among artistic and creative individuals. These individuals often display their artwork on the streets, adorning balconies and patios with amusing sculptures of tango dancers and other characters. Visitors can enjoy exploring the Caminito Street Museum, a colorful and pedestrian-friendly zone. This zone has been functioning as an open-air museum and art market since 1959 and consists of a string of brightly painted buildings that offer quality crafts and souvenirs. The area also offers free open-air tango demonstrations for those who are interested. Number 1. Plaza de Mayo, 
The Plaza de Mayo in Buenos Aires is a delightful two-block-long plaza that showcases the city's Belle Epoque through splendid old colonial buildings. It has been the stage for many important events in the city's history, including the uprising against Spain in 1810 and the vigils organized by the Madres de la Plaza de Mayo, whose children disappeared during the military junta's reign from 1976 to 1983. The area is mostly pedestrianized now, including the popular Florida and Laval streets, and offers several attractions for a fun walking tour. Plaza de Mayo is an excellent starting point for a Buenos Aires sightseeing adventure, where you can also see the famous pale pink presidential palace, Casa Rosada, from where Eva Perón addressed large crowds. It is recommended to visit the impressive Avenida de Mayo, which is well known for its beautiful architecture and iconic landmarks, such as Café Torton. This wide avenue is renowned for its stunning buildings that feature attractive facades and domes. Moreover, it is considered the center of tango culture, as it houses the National Tango Academy, which remains open to visitors. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other recent videos from 10 Minutes Travel, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.